Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. I'm doing a second part to this video. I tried talking my wife into it, but she will not get on the camera. Anyways, I want to introduce you here to Bob. He is in Fort Collins, that's all I'll say, but he did buy Honda Clarity. I want to explain to you, he'll have him explain to you why it is that he picked this car and some of the ins and outs of it. Thanks. We chose the uh, Honda Clarity. It's a brand new model. We were looking for um, being able to drive on all electric for most of our local miles here in Fort Collins, which is most of our driving. And this one gets uh, about the same amount of range as the, the uh, Chevy uh, Volt, but it's a much larger car. It's about the size of a Honda Accord, so it's a nice large car. And the first charge, it's a brand new car, the first charge we got uh, 80 miles on that. So. Most of the driving around here is flat. It's not high speed, and so you know it doesn't it doesn't uh, use that much. So we put in a charging system for it. Uh, we chose the Clipper Creek charging system. We had the house pre-wired with two um, six three two two twenty outlets yeah. in the garage, uh, knowing that we were going to do electric cars at some point. And this unit was really nice because it's a plug-in, so there's no uh, installation. If you want to change it out, it's really easy. They have, I didn't realize they had plug-in units now. We chose the Clipper Creek. Uh, I looked at a lot of different models of level two chargers. They, some of them are not made in the United States, don't necessarily meet all of the code requirements in the United States, so you gotta be careful about that. Um, this one got pretty good reviews. It looked pretty simple to use. So that's what we went with. It's a 32 amp uh, charger. It's supposed to charge the Clarity in about two and a half hours. The uh, 110 cord that comes with the car took about 12 hours to charge from a, from a dead battery to a full charge. So we'll hope it works. <laughs> so real quick, that's the Honda Clarity. That's what it looks like. This is not a Honda um, infomercial to try to sell the Honda. I'm just giving you a quick view of it. It's the first one that I have seen, um, but yes, I, I, as Bob has said, I've heard that um, the Volt gets a further mileage than the Leaf. It's just what I've heard, so I don't know if I'm correct on that, but this sounds like it's going to do real well. The thing I wanted to say to you guys is that it's important that you don't try to put your own together. This cord is rated with manufacturer, so this can literally be screwed on a wall and plugged in like pulling a vacuum out of a box. You don't want to go trying to do this yourself. They are specially rated cords. It is 10 gauge. Um, it is also a J, uh, an SOW. It's weighted, rate, rated for wet and dry, but it also doesn't state though it's an extra hard duty. So it's not something I would practice driving my car over it because you're trying to save money by like, well, I, I'm not sure it'll reach that way and my wife doesn't really like backing in the car that way or, 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 this, or the gentleman. Keep in mind that where you place it, it helps. Some of them are fairly long. I know Tesla's cords are thicker and longer, but the bottom line is, is just kind of keep that in mind when you're trying to get your bid to place it, that you, you, you pull your car in the way it's going to be pulled so you're not on the other side of the garage. Um, I like how Bob did this. He did it on both sides of the house. Uh, keep in mind, this is also a brand new home. The service on it is 200 amps, which the only, only thing above that is a 400 amp service, and now you're getting into a Bronco player's home. Um, but, but basically, 200 amp service is, is really adequate for this. They don't have gas cooking appliances. So again, on the other video, if you're trying to try to squeeze all this in the same service, think about going to gas on your range, your cooktop, maybe your dryer as well. Those things might help you reduce your ampacity. Also, alternating your life. Don't drive in here, plug in your car, jump in the hot tub while you're cooking a pizza and doing laundry. You might have to figure out when are certain days that you're gonna not be coincidental on doing those chores and things in your house, and that might help out so you don't put so much pressure on your system of the panel. Anyways, guys, Jane, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that helped you out, and um, have a good day.